just tell me about the crowd. I mean, it's it was deafening from the very start, and you can see how the kids just fed off it from the very start. Yeah, absolutely. So 1,700 kids uh, in the building, or, or plus, right, 1,700 or more. And uh, we're just so excited to just have this game. It's always great for the community and, and for our kids as well. Uh, just gives us that energy, right, to continue to play, to get to 3-0. So uh, we were really excited to have them in here. And speaking to me, you know, I mean, you three and zero after three games. The program only went five all last year. So tell me about getting off to this kind of story. Yeah. So this look, we, we first and foremost thank God because this is what we talked about when we said reboot, right? Like just the energy uh, you can tell with the fans they're involved and the kids believe. You know, it starts with a belief, belief in God first, and then a belief in themselves. Is what we just talked about, and they believe in this program and they believe in themselves. And just talk about playing an 11 a.m. game. Yeah, 11 a.m. man is always special. Uh, I told you we would, we would make sure we have them ready to play. Uh, we don't take any opponents lightly. We practice that every day. And, you know, kudos to our girls, man. They're ready to play no matter who they play. And uh, also, just talk about it being the kind of game where you were able to, like, play everybody. Yeah, so it's always good. Uh, we felt like we could uh, eventually get there to play everyone. And we wanted to make sure we're coaching them up. Uh, the same way as if, you know, it's a tie ball game. And we wanted to see some things from that second unit. And, you know, just moving forward, we, we're going into SMU. We want to make sure that they're ready to help us. You know, and I felt like we saw that. There was actually, from our second unit today, it was actually like a bigger jump in energy from the first group, as you can tell. And uh, led by uh, Ashley uh, Malone, who was ready to play that second go round in the second half. And you promised a championship right after the game. Why do you believe this team can do that? Well, first and foremost, my belief in God, you know, and I believe in myself, and I believe in these young ladies in this locker room. And, you know, like I said, man, like that's the goal. The goal is to win championships. We're not coming here to be mediocre or average. We want to make sure we're here, you know, to win a championship, and we're playing for that. Yeah, I got one for you, Coach. Uh, so many points off the turnovers today, man. You guys were getting out and were running. And um, early in the game, you like bring up the floor. I saw you kept pointing, like go, go. Like you wanted to play that pace, right? Yeah, yeah, man. That's what we said when we came here, man. We want to play at a different pace. We want to uh, establish that pace early and often. And when we have a chance to to settle in, we're gonna we're gonna run and execute our offense. We have to continue to get better at that. They're still learning me. And we're gonna to continue to work on that in practice. You know, this week was a busy week uh, for us. Not much practicing, but a lot of film work. So it was great for us there. But we're gonna to continue to establish that pace. What, what does it mean to the girls to have that many people in the crowd? I mean, I could see in layups, like they were smiling from ear to ear. Like you could tell it, it meant a lot to them. Man, these, these young ladies deserve it. They deserve it all, man. They worked so hard in the preseason. Like I told you guys at Tulane, we took away jersey numbers, we took away like practice gear, lockers, we did all of that. And we told them we want you to earn it. And they deserve all of this. They worked so darn hard in the preseason and they're earning everything they get right now. And last week, last game at Tulane, there was a few little mistakes at the end, but you really cleaned that up in this game. Can you kind of speak to how you were able to do that? Yeah, so the film is huge for us, especially after the game. And we have some young players that are out on the floor. This is a young team that's been, that's only been with me for, you know, some months now. And we need to continue to learn and grow together in late situations and continue to get better in those situations. And, and we will get better, you know, and we're just going to continue to watch film. We're going to practice those and we're going to make sure, man, this won't be the, Tulane won't be the last uh, close game that we play in. So we want to make sure we continue to get better in those late game situations. And a crowd like this kind of shows the growth of the women's game. Can you kind of explain how great that is for this team and just women in general? Oh, I mean, it's huge for, for the women's game. And you can see it all across the country, right? Uh, right here across uh, in our state at LSU. But uh, we're going to really focus on our girls at Nichols, and they deserve it, man. You see that's high-level play out there. You know, we can see some of the skill that even uh, Delgado has, uh, uh, Betsy Lee's. Like, I don't see, I played with some guys that couldn't do that stuff. You know, so uh, to see her be able to do that and some of our other young ladies who are extremely skilled, uh, it, it's just like, just come here and see us, man. Just come here and see us, and they're a fun group to watch. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you all.